Let us take a look at the next one. Convert each of the complex numbers in the polar form. Okay, let's try to convert this in the polar form. So polar form requires us to find the values of r and theta. r can be found easily with the help of let us say let z equals minus 1 plus i equal to x plus i y where x x equals minus 1 y equals 1 and we also know that and we also know that x equals r cos theta therefore therefore r cos theta equals minus 1 and r sin theta equals 1 we can find the value of r easily r equals square root of x square plus y square which is square root of 1 plus 1 which is square root of 2 you can clearly observe that right therefore cos theta becomes equal to what cos theta is minus 1 upon r which is minus 1 by root 2 sin theta becomes equal to 1 over r which is 1 over root 2 implying that theta lies in which quadrant can you identify the quadrant over here cos theta is negative sin theta is positive cos theta negative implies sin theta positive implies that the well, theta lies in the point p actually lies in the second quadrant and therefore theta becomes equal to pi minus alpha pi minus alpha and what is alpha alpha as you can clearly observe would be pi by 4 over here by simply drawing the diagram by simply drawing the diagram this is the location of the point p this here is one unit this here is also one unit and yes you can find the value of alpha very easily this alpha i am talking about this alpha tan alpha would be equal to one and therefore alpha would be equal to pi by four implying theta would be pi minus pi by four this gives me the value of theta as three pi by four that's pretty simple yes that's pretty simple and therefore z in the polar form the complex number z in the polar form would be equal to r times cos theta plus i sin theta r is root 2 cos theta theta is 3 pi by 4 plus i sin 3 pi by 4 and yes that is my answer for this question